Cricketers, it's me again, Delanda, and welcome back to my channel. If today is your first time joining us, welcome. If it's not and you are returning, welcome anyway. Um, tonight we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to make one of those photo puzzles. And you might be wondering, why does she have a cereal box? Well, first of all, it's empty. Um, this is going to be the, these are gonna end up being the puzzle pieces. So once I get the box cut out, um, I will show you how to go through the process of cutting up a cereal box and just go ahead and apologize to your kids in advance. Um, I'll show you how to use just a cereal box, just like a you know one layer of it or one side of it, um, to cut it out and put a photo puzzle together. Um, so the first step, well, first of all, y'all see my new shirt hopefully you got a chance to see my unboxing of my new Cricut easy press 2 because i had to replace my easy press well Cricut actually stood behind their product and they um sent my new easy press and instead of putting this c on the bag that it came with i decided to go ahead and put it on this shirt so go ahead and put a like on my video just because i have a c on this shirt and it's beautiful thank you Okay, so like I said, we're going to make a photo puzzle tonight. The materials that you will need, really, seriously, a cereal box, some kind of tool to measure the cereal box because you want to make sure that you have um, the right size. I am using my Cricut Explore Air 2 tonight and I'm using the fine point blade. The fine point blade is the one that comes with the machine, so I'm not asking you to buy anything extra because remember what I said if you watch my top 10 video I said you know when you get started with Cricut you feel like you need to have everything and this is not one of those situations so um, without further ado let's get started I'm going to head over to design space and we will get our template and I will make sure that you can access this template when you join our Facebook group so let's get over to design space and get started okay so one thing I didn't mention in the introduction is that you will also need um, printable vinyl. And I tried this one the other night when I made some of those Spotify keychains and I love it. I've always used the Hobby Lobby brand that I've told you about in previous videos, um, the $5.99 Paper Studio Hobby Lobby brand. Um, but I am going to use this kind of uh, printable vinyl tonight. It is by Ava? I don't want to say the wrong name, but it's A-I-V-A, and I ordered it from Amazon. I will put the link in the description below. I'll even put the link for uh, Lucky Charms in the description below if you want me to. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and cut out um, one side of your cereal box. Okay, so I have one side of my cereal box cut out, and I know that it's not even, and that really isn't going to matter because my design is going to fit within in this space anyway um, and I know that my design can't be bigger than my printable vinyl so I know to be careful about that so if I measure my cereal box the, the width of it it is seven and a half inches wide and it is um, a little bit over 11 inches tall so I know that my puzzle will be smaller than that when I get to design space. So now I'm ready to move over to design space and choose a design that is small enough to cover um, an inside area of this um, cereal box. The next thing you'll do is upload your puzzle template and remember I said that I will be sharing my puzzle template with you in my Facebook group. So it looks like this. And when it comes in, um, you'll see that it's set at 7.9 by 11, and that's fine. You can keep it at that size. Then you'll need to upload your image, and I decided to use this picture of myself because I love the Houston Rockets, even though they're not winning. So you'll see that my, the picture that I have inserted is already bigger than my puzzle template, and I know that I don't want this size puzzle template anyway. I actually want this puzzle template to be at a six by eight. Okay, so one of the things that you're going to need to do is 
in order to get your picture to be the exact same size as your puzzle your puzzle template is I want you to go ahead and choose your shapes tool get a square I want you to resize unlock it and resize it to the exact same size as your puzzle template remember this one is six by eight and it is unlocked so this one needs to be six by eight okay so I've made this six by eight this is six by eight remember that slice option slice works just like a cookie cutter okay so I'm gonna put this on top of my photo I'm gonna select the photo and the rectangle and I'm going to slice it and remember slice acts just like a cookie cutter and I am going to remove the parts that I don't need so I don't need this outer piece I actually don't need this box anymore and all I need now is my puzzle template that I'm going to put on top of my photo so I'm going to arrange it to send it to the front and I'm going to select both of them together and I'm going to align them in center so when my puzzle template cuts out I'm go ahead and attach these click make it okay so now I know that this is a print then cut image so that means I have to send it to my printer first and then after I print this out I'm gonna put my printed photo on top of the cereal box and my Cricut Explore Air 2 will cut out my puzzle pieces for me so the first thing I need to do is click continue and if you've watched any of my videos, you will know that I do not have a fantastic printer. Um, so I am going to send this to the printer. You can keep the ad bleed option on. I am, I'm gonna keep the ad bleed option on. My uh, Canon MX470 is the printer that's going to pop up. You know, my internet is not fantastic going to click print and I'll come back and show you what my photo looks like okay so I have my image printed out now you can see why I love that paper I am going to cut off a little bit of the edge because this, this is sticker paper so I'm and then I'm going to take it off of this paper and stick it to the front of this um, cereal box to start to scrape the pieces away from my puzzle because it was harder than I thought with um, my fingernails and the intended purpose of the spatula is to remove stuff from your mat. So I thought I would never use it but look at, look at, look at me, 2021, there's something good. Okay, this is the final piece of the puzzle and this is how it turned out. Okay, so I really do love the way this puzzle turned out. I absolutely love the new printable vinyl that I am going to share with you in the link below. Um, I keep saying that my printer is not good, but I'm starting to have second thoughts about it because it did a pretty good job of printing out this photo. Um, if I wanted to take this, you know, just keep this puzzle together like this, I just take, I just glued it to um, just some plain cardstock. I could do something like that. It is not completely glued down, but I, I'm holding it up so you can see the final product. Um, I really love the way it came out. This will be part one of the video because in the next tutorial, I will show you my process for creating a puzzle, a photo puzzle, a personalized puzzle similar to this using the Deep Point Blade and the Cricut Maker. Um, so that will be the follow-up. That'll be a puzzle making part two. Once again, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, please consider um, coming to join my Facebook group. 
at uh, Cricut Crafting with Yolanda. It is a very small group. We're a quiet group, but they are very um, encouraging. We, we encourage one another. We support one another. We don't do dumps in my group. So dump is like a no-no word. Um, we just share our ideas. We learn from each other and um, we just continue to grow together. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them in the down in the comment section. And if you make a puzzle like this, please share it with us in the comments. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.